everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to tackle classes. So let's just go through this one step at a time. So all right, <clears throat> we're going to create a variable. We know what that is. That's a list, right? So let's look a little more closely. So all right. This is a predefined class in Python. So we are actually going to create our own. And the example that I love to use is let's create a class for rectangles. And it's going to take in information and then we're going to be able to do methods. But we're going to do this real slow because this can get tricky real fast. So let's get a little nerdy here for a second and look and see and I and I picked this on purpose class objects so all right let's peek over here let's see if we can see we can see this okay good so all right in it the first thing inside your your class is in it initiate and initiate and new work together so we're getting pretty deep into the documentation of how Python works and this is perfect so and we already know what these are double underscore methods right so this is a method that works in the background and it comes here and it creates whatever we tell it it creates it it's the first thing that happens new and initiate work together to create the new object so all right let's let's get started so all right and to, sh to show you let's do help x close this out so in a list right here initialize self and then you come down with new create and return new object so just to show you inside list that it's there. So all right, like I said, we're gonna do rectangle. And also, we're, I want you to look and see this word, self. And the reason why I used this example is this is a list, right? But right here, x is self. We'll dig more into that in a minute. So all right. So first we have to declare class. And if we look really, really close, we know what orange is, that's a keyword. So class, then let's just name it rect for rectangle. Now, just like this method, we know how to create functions, right? And I told you a long time ago that a function and a method behave the same they are just called differently so inside a just like just like with our append this is a method but it acts the same so just like when we create a function we have to use our def so creating our init our initiate in it method we need to get started now all right I want to go over this super 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 slow because I don't want to lose you at all and I don't want this to be overwhelming and it can be so all right self self is important remember how I talked about X X dot append this is the same thing as self we know it's a list but this is the self right so keep that in mind. So we do self for it doesn't matter what the variable is, we still have to describe itself. We have to describe itself. We have to account for itself. Self is whatever object that is going to be a rectangular object. So all right, think about a rectangle. It has a length and a width. We're going to do these 
just for a length and a width. All right. Now, this is where it gets real, real goofy. So, self length equals length. Self width equals width. So, okay, we are assigning th this input because we're going to take, because normally, when we take when we create a function we take in information you don't do that with classes you use the init method to define it and bring in the information so all right now here's something that is your correct angle is Use our placeholders by close that out, format, length, width. Close that. Let's bring this over just a touch so we can see everything. Now, so this is what this does. Come over here. So let's run this. So now oop, box equals. So this is the same thing as self because this is our instance of this object, this type of object this class of object. So all right. Then we give it then we call the class and lo and behold Python goes, "Hey, I know this object. I know this class. It takes in a length and a width." So we give it 3 by 4. And the way Python works is this object is about to be created, right? So it comes in here, it uses its function the init function and drops it on this and create and does everything inside this method and then lo and behold it's going to run this too so i put this here so you can see that it's doing something because when all the other methods depending on what type we create we have to give specific direction so so now now let's think more in depth about rectangles and characteristics and things we want to know about them. We want to know the perimeter and the area. So let's just knock them out. So all right, it's going to do an easy one. Oh, self is always need to be called because this is where you're. Uh, this is where you're pulling. This is the. This is going to run because you want to run. This is your variable, right? That's how you want to think about this because you've do, you've done functions. This is why self goes there. It, we don't care what it is, just like our x. It's like our, this is box. Python doesn't care. It goes, hey, you just you just went here and you want to use this this object and I know where it is. So this says, put throw this information that we just got, put it in here and then run it. So that's why you always call self on a method. That's why we had to call self here and then the other variables that we took. But we already have all the variables that we have when we created it. And this sits here with these variables. And guess what? This is what we're going to use. But really, that's what we're going to use. So we, because we're wanting to create something, right? We're doing all this work. We just don't want it to print to the screen because right here we just did this to prove that we're doing something. If this is in real life, we'd probably get rid of it. But all right, I just want you to see that when we run, when we create this, this is the only thing that gets run until you call these. That's why I did that. So, all right. So, the perimeter. Think about what the perimeter is. It's two times self width times self length. Now, what's the other one that's important that we uh, that we use a lot, or what comes to mind in math? Area. 
same thing. We have to call self. We have to call what we're going to do. So, okay. Think about what area is. It's just uh, the two sides times each other. Oops. And look at what I did. This is supposed to be plus. And this is wrong. I would have caught it later. Hopefully. So, this side times this side times that times that. Or two times this, two times this. But I'm going to use the distributive method. Okay, so area. Then it's just self width times self length. And there we go. Let's run this. Then we're going to create our box. Oops, got my cursor in the wrong spot. Call it three by four. So guess what? There's our rectangle. And we wanna we wanna call our prim method. It's 14. And we want to call our box or our area method. And lo and behold, there we go. This is how you create a new object with Python using the keyword class initiate. And then this is how you write methods for your new object that you just created. So I, we're going to do several of these. They're going to slightly get more complicated. But this can throw new people off. It threw me off. It took me a long time to get it. I get it. So all right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And most important, that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.